Hey, what's up guys? I have the 9 Bot Max, the Emotion L9, and the High Boy Titan. I've had all three of these scooters for quite some time, especially the 9 Bot Max. So in this video, I'm going to compare them to each other. We're going to talk about specs, dimensions. I'm going to take them out for a quick spin, and at the end, I'm going to tell you guys which one I personally like from the three. Granted, if you want to stop watching this right now, I honestly like all three but one is better than the other two, so stick around to the end to find out. Specs, 350 watt rear motor on the 9 Bot Max, 500 watt front motor on the Emotion L9, and 800 watt rear motor on the High Boy Titan. And yes, I could tell a difference when I'm riding one versus the other. It does get noticeably more powerful, especially with the High Boy Titan. And because of those motors, they actually have well, these two are 18.6 miles an hour top speed or 30 kilometers, whereas the High Boy Titan is 25 miles per hour or 40 kilometers. But I think the screen actually says 25.9. Now, max advertised range, the 9 mile max is 40.4 miles, the Emotion L9 is 59 miles, and the High Boy Titan is 28 miles. However, in actual real world results, which I actually did a full range test on all three of these, battery 100% all the way down to the scooter stop and turned off. So I did all three of those. I'll put links in the description below for those videos, but I'll give you guys the numbers anyways. So maximum range on this at 40.4 miles, I actually got 28 miles and I'm around 200 pounds, which is pretty good considering I also climbed 2,079 feet, which is very impressive. So it pretty much got 69% of its advertised range which I thought was amazing. The Emotion L9, I was thinking it was going to do a lot better, but it actually did it. It actually got 28.5 miles, even though it's advertised at 59. So it actually got 48% of its advertised speed with me around 200 pounds with climbing 1,550 feet. So I think if I climb less with this, I think it would actually beat that even though that one is advertised to have more range. So I was a bit disappointed. Granted, if we erase their advertised range, I would say it's very impressive for a scooter to go 20 and a half miles for climbing 1,550 feet with someone that's 200 pounds. That's very impressive. But the fact that they advertised 59 miles, I was like, okay, something is wrong here. So I was a bit disappointed with this one. And the High Boy Titan, actually did very well at, it was advertised at 28 miles and it actually went 23 miles, which is 82%, but I did do a bit less climbing, still a decent amount, 398 feet of climbing, but I also was going faster on the High Boy Titan. So overall, very impressive. I was impressed both with the High Boy Titan and the 9 Bot Max, and honestly, because of these two, I was disappointed with the Emotion L9 in terms of what they advertise and what you get. Now for the dimensions, I wanna compare them relative to one another so you guys can get a sense of which one is bigger or smaller, taller, wider, narrower. Anyways, starting off with the handlebar, Emotion L9 is the tallest. So you can see that it actually clears the Nightbot Max pretty easily. So this is the tallest and also if we compare this to the High Boy Titan, it clears this one as well. So the Emotion L9 has the tallest handlebar in terms of where you grip it. So this might be more useful if you're taller. Jumping to the deck size, the High Boy Titan has the shortest and the widest, whereas the L9 and the 9 Mile Max are longer, but not quite as wide. But if we had to judge the scooter based on comfort level, just based on the deck and nothing else, I would say that these two fare better than the High Boy Titan. And really the reason is because of this metal piece right here. Whereas on the High Boy Titan, it's two of them and they kind of go like this. So as a result, you lose some real estate when you're placing your feet. So I personally like to place my feet this way. And so I have to put my foot more back as a result. Yes, I could put it in the center, but it's not really easy to balance doing that. So I kind of like placing it like this or like this. So because of these, I'm losing some real estate. Whereas with the L9 and the Max, I could place it like this easily and you could tell how much more space I still have behind the other foot. 
In terms of shocks, the High Boy Titan has front and rear shocks and they're pretty comfortable and it sits high off the ground. The L9 also has front and rear shocks but it doesn't sit quite high off the ground. This one's fairly comfortable as well. And the 9 Watt Max has no shocks so it's the pneumatic tires that help. Granted those two also have pneumatic tires as well. The High Boy Titan has front and rear disc brakes, has the throttle, has the coolest screen from the three, has the lights and the horn. Now when you turn on the lights, you could see that there's kind of like this directional lighting LED. You also have your lights over here, which don't turn with the wheel if you guys are wondering. It's just pretty much always showing straight. You also have your back light. Now this is the folding mechanism, so you spin this basically until this comes out and then you basically bend and you're good to go. The only problem with the High Boy Titan is it doesn't have a clip that would hang on or clip some more so you can actually lift it like this. So I usually just lift it with the whole body rather than with this. But the folding mechanism itself is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Tighten it and you're done. This is the charge port for it, so open that up, charge it when you're done, push it back in and you're good to go. Now the Emotional 9 has a bit more of a basic screen compared to the Titan, but still looks pretty good. You have your bell, throttle. This is the little clip that basically attaches when you fold it and you can actually hold it from the handlebar, which is nice. And when you turn it a certain direction, let's just say if I'm turning it this direction, it will signal or this direction. And that's when you will see the lights lighting up on the bottom as well. So it's kind of a cool feature, but it has one brake one rear brakes and they are disc brakes. And here are the lights from the Inmotion L9 which give off a decent amount of light. Now in terms of the lights, the L9 has the coolest lights and the reason for that is when you tilt the steering wheel when you're turning one direction it starts to signal which is really cool. Even if you tilt it one way it will signal that direction which is kind of cool. Now the folding mechanism on the Inmotion L9 is also pretty easy. They're all pretty easy actually. You just push this down, pull it down all the way because this thing needs to stick out. And then you fold it and you have your little clip right here. And it basically clips to this. And then you can actually lift it from here. And it's decently heavy. And to put it back, basically just you also have to push this all the way down because this thing needs to pop up and then boom, done. So pretty easy. You do have double chargers here if you wanted to. It only comes with one charger, but if you wanted to charge it faster, you could get a second one. And the 9 Mile Max is also fairly basic, but I kind of like the way this one looks. So you have your throttle, your folding mechanism clip that clips on so you could hold it from the handlebar, your on and off button. You could also turn on the lights like this and you get a single drum brake, but the cool thing is the bell. Now the folding mechanism on the 9 Mile Max is also very simple. So you basically just slide this thing, push this down, fold this, you have the little clip which goes on automatically, then you can lift it up, and it's the lightest of the three. Also feels like the smallest footprint as well. The easiest to put in my car's trunk. And if you guys are wondering, why is this pink? Well, this is a limited edition one that I got from Indiegogo or what's the other one? Kickstarter. Yeah, one of those two. So they had a limited edition set. So I decided to go with that one. So they don't have this one anymore. But this is the older version, one of the first versions that came out. And this is the light for the 9 Bomb Max, which is a single light, but it gives off a decent amount of light. However, it doesn't have those cool lights on the bottom, so it's the least visible of the three at night. I waited till it was dark so I could show you guys what the lights look like at night. So this is the 9 Watt Max, which does turn with the handlebar, and it gives off a decent amount of light, nothing too spectacular, but good enough. This is the Inmotion L9. It gives off a wider area of light because it's really two lights. But it looks a bit less focused than the 9 Watt Max. But let me turn this off. And this also turns with the handlebar. And then finally, let me turn on the High Boy Titan, 
which doesn't turn with the handle bar. It just kind of goes with the scooter itself. So this one seems like it's the brightest of the three. So let me turn on all of them. And you can see that, yeah, it looks like the High Boy Titan is the brightest of the three. So this is what the Emotion Online looks like at night with all the lights on. When you're riding it normally, it's basically like this until you turn. And there we go. So this is what the High Boy Titan looks like at night. It's fairly visible. You can see that the patterns are changing on the bottom right on the deck. And you know, it gives off a pretty good amount of light. Fairly visible, I would say. And this is what the Nine Ball Max looks like at night. So you could tell it's not as visible as the other two. Nine Ball Max, this is what the brakes look like. So it blinks. The High Boy Titan blinks. And the Inmotion L9 just goes brighter on the back lights. And the 9 Mile Max has a few reflectors, so if I point a flashlight at it... I mean, you could see it, it's there, but you know, it's not quite as nice as the other two that are really much brighter. So I'm going to do two quick acceleration tests, the first one being an incline test, and I put a timer on the bottom to show you guys how long it takes. So every 30 counts is equivalent to a second. I should mention that the 9 ball max is in metric units, so the speedometer is showing 21 kilometers per hour, not 21 miles per hour. That's how fast I'm going. And the goal is to get to the fire hydrant. As soon as we get there, I'm going to stop the time. So essentially, it took almost 25 seconds to get to the top of the hill. So this is not a perfect test because I do have to kick off to start it. But, I mean, it's as close to a perfect test as I'm going to get. So, I, I consider this a good test. And it's very evident because the Emotional 9 did get there almost, almost three seconds faster. Let's just say two and a half seconds faster. Now, the funny thing is that I thought that the High Boy Titan would actually be the quickest. But, for some reason, it was actually a pretty much one second behind the Emotional 9. Which actually surprised me because generally speaking, the High Boy Titan does the best on the hills from these three. Now time for a flat, well, it's a bit of a decline test, but kind of in between flat and decline. Maybe a very small decline test. But going all the way up to the Ford Explorer with the 9 ball Max, got there in roughly 11 seconds. And doing the same thing with the Inmotion L9 also takes... 11 seconds just a tad bit quicker and going with the high boy titan thanks to its also higher top speed i do get there quicker at about 10 seconds so about a second faster for that short distance which really makes a difference because this thing is a lot faster so getting to the overall winner i have to give it to the high boy titan because of its higher top speed it's actually better for off-roading as well because it sits higher and has a more powerful motor. Granted, it's not going to be amazing for off-road, but it can do it. It's just I didn't even do the test because the other two weren't going to do so great. And it has the wider handlebars, It also, which makes it easier to balance. It has two brakes instead of one. You know, So it ha actually has better stopping power. Granted, the other one stopped fine as well. And it's also easier to see because of the lights. Now, where it didn't do so great was the folding mechanism where it doesn't have a latch so you can actually pick it up from the handlebar, unlike the other two. The foot placement is not that great. On the other two, I actually prefer the foot placement on the other two. It is a bit heavier as well, and it also has less range. So it really just depends what you're looking for. You know, if you want something with a lot of range, then I would honestly go with the 9 Bot Max because that to me is in a very, very, very close second place. I almost wanted to pick the 9 Ball Max as my favorite just because I feel like it's a little more comfortable to ride. But when you hit hills and when you go off-roading and stuff, this is going to just do so much better. And because this has a higher top speed, that's why I chose this. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button. Let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below. Let me know which scooter you guys like. Thank you guys for watching.